Opioid use disorder continues to devastate our country. Roughly 21 to 29 percent of patients who are prescribed an opioid will misuse them, and between 8 and 12 percent will develop an opioid use disorder. Even more disturbingly, overdose deaths involving prescription opioids average about 41 people each day. But these are not just numbers. These are our patients, they're our family and friends, their mothers, fathers, sons and daughters. And I see pharmacists having a key role in helping those suffering from addiction. An effective treatment for opioid use disorder is MAT, or Medication Assisted Treatment. MAT combines medication therapy, psychosocial support, and behavioral counseling. Prescription medications, including controlled substances, such as buprenorphine and methadone, are used for initial detoxification and long-term maintenance to suppress withdrawal symptoms and reduce cravings. The medication helps patients reestablish normal brain function and prevent relapse, which complements and facilitates behavioral therapy. There are several barriers to prevent patients from getting this life-saving treatment, including social stigma, cost, and a lack of awareness. Some Americans feel that people who suffer from opioid use disorder are either to blame for their addiction or they lack self-discipline. Many MAT programs are not covered by insurance and with some MAT clinics charging up to $300 per visit. This is a huge barrier because patients in MAT programs typically need to go to the clinic once or twice a week. Decades of research show that MAT programs are beneficial, but the public and even some professionals are largely unaware. Perhaps the biggest barrier is governmental requirements that exclude healthcare providers like pharmacists. To prescribe MAT drugs outside the formal opioid treatment program, providers need a data 2000 waiver. Fewer than 3% of eligible providers have a data 2000 waiver. Allowing pharmacists to treat opioid use disorder patients would greatly improve accessibility. Currently, pharmacists largely play a dispensing role in the provision of MAT. However, given their accessibility and expertise, Pharmacists can easily take on the role of prescribing MAT. In almost every state, pharmacists may enter into collaborative practice agreements with physicians to prescribe certain medications. And in at least eight states, expanded scope of practice laws allow pharmacists to prescribe controlled substances used for MAT. Pharmacists could also facilitate counseling and support services. But to expand access on MAT on a larger scale, Congress needs to pass legislation that would remove the data 2000 waiver process altogether allowing states to decide which providers can offer MAT within their own communities. Yeah. Boards of pharmacy have been key to expanding the use of prescription monitoring programs and facilitating easier access to naloxone. Today, all 50 states allow for naloxone access in community pharmacies, either through laws or rules that allow pharmacists to prescribe naloxone, or through statewide prescribing protocol or standing order. These successes prove that states, through their boards of pharmacy, can make great strides in elevating pharmacists' role and providing support for those seeking to overcome OUD. NABP, working with the State Boards of Pharmacy, has urged Congress to pass the legislation that will allow states to recognize pharmacists as providers of MAT. NABP has established task forces to review strategies for driving change and explore developing model rules that support pharmacists as key leaders in opioid safety. As NABP and Boards of Pharmacy work on these changes, there are several actions we pharmacists can do in our daily practice to prevent overdoses and increase patient access to naloxone. For instance, pharmacists can dispense naloxone with all high-dose opioid prescriptions and counsel patients and caregivers on how to use naloxone. Pharmacists can encourage legislators or regulators to allow for pharmacists prescribing or collaborative practice agreements for MAT. We need to increase public awareness about resources that help prevent OUD as well as reverse overdoses and pharmacists are well positioned to provide that guidance. As trusted healthcare providers, pharmacists can spread the word about community groups and harm reduction organizations that provide MAT, as well as free naloxone kits and training. Pharmacists have a critical role to play in improving access to treatment and preventing opioid overdose tragedies. Dispensing naloxone from pharmacies, especially in areas hardest hit by the opioid epidemic, can increase the number of overdose reversals and the opportunity to link overdose survivors to treatment programs. Our country has been battling this opioid epidemic for nearly a decade with limited success. It is time for expanded treatment options that have been proven to work for patients who battle OUD. As trusted healthcare providers known for being the most accessible to patients, it's time for pharmacists and pharmacy regulators to educate others on the value and efficacy of MAT in the opioid epidemic. Through education, we can change regulation and keep even more patients safe.